Namaste. Thank you. Keep, my, keep it closer to your mouth. Yes. My name is Paula. Yes. And it wasn't really a question. I just wanted to add something, if I may. Yes. Um, as you s have beautifully said, I also believe that all religions are belief until we experience that. And um, I'm currently reading a book called Golden Keys to Ascension, and it's written by a Christian man, and his name is Joshua David Stone. And he has jumped from belief to actual experience, even in Christianity. And so when he writes the book, he also says, I am Jesus Christ. We are all Jesus Christ. We are Jesus consciousness. So, yeah, that's just what I wanted to add. Yes. And you can do that. But remember, notice what Paula just said. The realization was, we are all Jesus consciousness. So as consciousness, we are all these people, and also Jesus Christ, and also that of which Jesus Christ was an incarnation, God. In that sense, in an Advaitic sense, in a non-dual sense. What you cannot say is exactly what Peggy noticed, is that as this person, Peggy, I am God. No. The Advaitic path first deconstructs the person. It's flat out contradicted to say, I, this guy sitting in the chair is God, literally. No, it isn't. <laughs> That's not true. So Advaita must be understood properly. And like Paula said, even in Christianity, why even in Christianity? In Christianity, in every religion, the core is mystical experience. The core is mystical experience. Experience is possible, not only possible, it, it must culminate in, in uh, experience. Uh, as Vivekananda said, religion is realization. Religion is realization. If God exists, I should be able to see, see God. If I have an immortal soul, I should be able to feel it, right? 